Race number three of the season. Las Vegas is coming up another mile and a half. Let's let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Sam Ray. How are you guys doing? Because having a fantastic day today. We're we'll be doing race informer for Las Vegas. I'm sorry this episode is out a, a little late. I don't think it is. These are usually pretty quick to edit, so it's three right now as I'm filming this. So it's supposed to be out by four. It's actually three oh two as I'm filming this. So I got fifty eight minutes to film, edit, and upload this. And obviously, me jabbering on is not going to get me anywhere. But uh, so let's let's get right into that. So we don't really have much news to talk about besides just the fact this is the first race where we're using the full 2019 package. We used a version of it last week at Atlanta, but it wasn't like full version. It's like a different kind of version of it. We got the full version this week. We'll actually see how it's going to be at Las Vegas. I'm excited to see. I'm not really optimistic, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited nonetheless because if it is good, then that's a good thing. We have some other non-cup news to talk about. I know I don't usually talk about non-cup news on this show, but I feel like the news that is coming in the non-cup series is pretty big. So, um... Haley Deegan won the the K N West race last night at Las Vegas. I wasn't watching it, but I was I was following it live on Twitter, so I pretty much like knew everything that was happening when it was happening, and then I saw the replay of the finish. And damn, Haley Deegan's a talented driver. She's only 17 years old too. I mean, she's she's probably the future of the of the of of NASCAR. So. I think that'll be amazing. She's a great driver, and she got her second career k n West race win. All right, so now let's go into my predictions for Las Vegas. So we're going to get into my winner's predictions. Number three, my prediction, Joey Logano. I think Joey Logano has a good shot. Pretty good at mile and a half, so I think he ran up front last year at this race. Kevin Harvick, I think Kevin Harvick has a good shot. He won this race last year. He also won this race in 2015. He crashed out of the fall race last year, but he's been pretty good besides that. So watch out for Kevin Harvick. And my number one prediction, you guys might think I'm crazy, I don't usually use a long shot as my prediction, my main number one prediction, but my number one for prediction for Las Vegas, Kurt Busch. <laughs> yep, Curtis is going to do it. Kurt Busch is going to win at Las Vegas. He's good last week at Atlanta. He's done decently here in the past, so I think he has a good shot. I think Kurt Busch is going to return to victory lane. He's been there since August. Which, I mean, I guess isn't that long, but yeah. My underdog predictions, Austin Dillon, I think he has a good shot. Daniel Suarez, he's done pretty good here. And Paul Menard, this is probably his best track on the circuit besides, like, Michigan. And now my oopsie picks. My oopsies picks. Jimmy Johnson, I feel like he's not going to do that good at all. He good at Atlanta last race. He hasn't been doing really good for the last year or so. You know, year and a half, almost two years, so... Jimmy Johnson, I think he's not going to do that good. Kyle Busch is not really one of his better types of tracks, even though he finished second here last year. He just, like he's, he's usually done pretty bad here, so Kyle Busch, I don't think he'll do that good. And Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott crashed out of this race last year. He's crashed out of here a few times before, plus he just didn't do that good last week at Atlanta, so... Chase Elliott, I don't think he'll do that good. What are you guys' predictions? If you guys like this video, a like on it. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike and a hey comment. Tell me exactly what I did wrong. Be sure to subscribe to notifications. And as always, goodbye, kitty cat.